So where do we go when we is the creative development phase of a multi-sensory experience designed to be neurodiverse friendly and to connect marginalised and neurodiverse communities and people to nature. As part of Grounding Technologies, we're doing an R&D process. So we've done a lot of work with neurodivergent communities, asking them questions and doing the research, running workshops. And kind of using that to kind of, you know, distill an opportunity to also have a little play in a sensory amazement park and to really understand what it means to explore creatively multi-sensory senses through a very neurodiverse lens. We've broken it into different projects and one of those projects is looking at hospital settings where lots of research has shown that people heal better when they have connection to nature. So one of the ways we're looking at solving this problem in the community is looking at how creative tech can connect people who are in those settings to nature. And visually, that one, we've focused on water because the biggest thing that we had coming back from our surveys was that people feel like they want to be near big bodies of water. So we're looking at how we can use creative tech, specifically interactive projection, to play with a kind of immersive water space that could provide like a space for calm within a chaotic setting. My role is essentially exploring tech in the realms of 3D modeling and how we can bring to life concepts around underrepresented communities and their accessibility to green spaces, trying to utilize soundscapes and more immersive realms of incorporating sound into yeah, the project. It's like giving people those little nuggets that hopefully will kind of encourage them to move more towards and take up space in these venues, regardless of being told you're welcome there or not. Looking forwards, I feel very passionately that people in cities need to feel more connected to nature. It's something in the climate crisis and in the current global crises that we are in is something that we need to get back to. We need to have a better understanding of where our food comes from, where energy comes from and, and how we can live in harmony with nature. And I think that starts with on a local and personal level having a connection to nature. So I would hope that going forward that's something the project can provide. Because of kind of the questions that the climate crisis are already bringing out of us, it's opportunity to kind of, you know, reimagine uh, innovative solutions that kind of bring the masses with us. I think that's what's really valuable over here because actually when you kind of design in this way, meet people where they're at, the values that you kind of hope over time that they'll kind of develop some of their own first-hand connections to then desire to protect nature. But like, that's not where we're starting from. We're starting from kind of creating these very specific moments of interaction and play that kind of bring opportunity to kind of find community, joy and peace and rest.